Hello, and welcome back to Queen's Crafts by Bridget. I'm Bridget. Thank you for joining me today. Whether you're new here or you've been around for a while, I really appreciate you stopping by and spending a little bit of time with me. Um, I haven't done a video in a while. Been so, so busy filming tutorials. I got like three of them on the go right now. I'm going to discuss one of them with you. Well, actually two of them. Um... One, I haven't decided if I'm going to post it or not. It, it is actually a crochet one. But we'll see what everyone thinks. And um, if, if you guys want me to do it, I can do it. It's going to take me a little while. My niece uh, is going to have a baby here in uh, January. I'm hoping she holds off one more day because baby is due on the 10th my birthday is the 11th it would be awesome 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 to get my very first great nephew and have it be on my birthday that would be so amazing so i'm hoping that little stinker holds off one day i told her she needs to just you know just till midnight i mean i'm not asking for the whole day you know but <laughs> anyways I have a few things to show you today, and before I do that, let me uh, take the time to tell you if you need to find me, contact me in any way, shape, or form, everything, or all my contacts are listed down in the description box. You can get me on Instagram, same name, no spaces. I have a Facebook group where I sell my bags and other products out of, and you can share your, um, anything that you make following me such as my socks the upcoming notions pouch the knitted do rag that i have just put out uh and any of these crocheted ones that uh, i'm doing i'm going to make up a new post for that but as of right now the post says for my socks but anybody that makes one of my tutorials and posts a picture either in my facebook or sends me an email with that picture um, will be entered to win a bag from me as my appreciation for you following my not so great editing you know I don't do the editing thing you know so I'm really trying to do uh, do the tutorials but I'm I'm learning so I appreciate everyone um, looking past those flaws so let's get on to I actually have a couple finished things well they're finished for now anyways um that i can show you everything else is either out the door and i have a clip that i will add on to the end of this um my youngest niece was having a birthday at the zoo i made her a really cute little octopus in a bag but that will be in a clip at the end of this video so that you can see that it was so much fun to make but oh the amigurumis are really hurting my hands these days I finished up two spins uh, between the night before last and yesterday. I did a two-ply from a braid from the Crafty Housewife's yarn. I will have them linked down below. I absolutely love their fiber braids. Their Braid of the Month Club is amazing. I would love to be able to start that back up in the new year, getting that fiber braid every month just for a little you know, a treat, you know, for myself, but we'll have to see how bag sales go lately. They've been down a little bit. Not that I'm complaining. I understand there's lots of things going on in the YouTube community right now, but if you do want a bag, get a hold of me. I have plenty made up. I have plenty more material that I can make, and I will even go and search out the material you've got in mind for your perfect bag. Okay, so my first spin was, as I said, the braid from the Crafty Housewife's yarn. I spun it up and did a two-ply. This is working out to be about a sock weight yarn. My plying is getting a lot better, and so was the evenness to my spinning. But, you know, I did, you know, a little, little handmade, um balls of joy in there every once in a while uh, but I really really love the spinning and I believe I'm going to do with this one like I did the unicorn uh, braid 
or unicorn yarn that I made. This one's going to be up in minis and shipped out to some more of the wonderful people that have touched my heart during my YouTube journey. So happy to be able to share that with them. And then also, I did my first uh, chain ply, also known as Navajo plying. I didn't do a great job, but I, you know, I got it done. Now I need to rehank these. They have been, uh, the spin has been set and they are dried, but I have not rehanked them yet. This one here turned out absolutely lovely, I think. Um, it's going to be a lot of fun to work with. Like I said, I didn't do perfect. And this one here is merino wool and um, alpaca. So that is the, the fuzzy fluffies that you're seeing. That's the alpaca doing that. But I got it fairly consistent throughout. It's not perfect, as I say, but I did enjoy the spin and I enjoyed... Um, trying something new with the, the chain plying. I probably will um, use that technique more often. As I said, I enjoyed doing it. And, you know, I know there's lots of videos out that I could learn a whole bunch of stuff for a bun from a bunch of spinners and stuff like that. And I would love to learn from another spinner, but I would rather do one-on-one, -on -one, like, you know, have a sit down with spring the fiber enthusiast than to watch a bunch of tutorials it's just not my thing. Um, I, I don't know. I just, I'm enjoying learning what I can learn through the fiber and through Maryland right now. Later on, I will probably, you know, pick Springs Brain and, you know, some of the other spinners in the uh, community to learn things that I haven't been able to pick up on my own. But until then, the fiber and my beautiful wheel are teaching me a ton and I absolutely love it. As I said, my niece is having a baby, so I am working on a uh, blanket. Now, I, I searched and searched and searched, and I could not find a pattern that was the one that I had in my head. So, I decided, well, I'm going to make a, a square that looks to me like a honeycomb. So, I made this here. Like I said, I didn't use a pattern. I just did what made sense to me in my brain. And this is what made sense. I'm going to come back and border these in like a cream color. I also have some just straight yellow that I'm going to do that with. And I'm probably going to do a few of just the cream ones. And then I'm going to um, you know, put it like this and connect them all going around until we have uh, a decent sized baby blanket. I got, let's see, three, six, nine. I got 11 um, squares out of one ball. Um, each of the, the um, each one is about 10 grams. So, I think I have enough to get at least 17 more just with the yellow and the ice cream yarn that I have. And we'll check size at that point. As I said, I do have another uh, tutorial coming out. Uh, this one will be a knit one. It will be something like this here, but just straight knitting. Um, this is a Notions pouch and it's got, I haven't sewed it up so I could show you what it was yet. Um, but you squeeze the ends and you're like grandma's change purse back in the day. Um, it's not real hard to do. I can, and my hands are fairly weak, but the more I do it, the more, um, the easier it gets, but it's just this here and you can get those off of Amazon. So all you'll need extra is that piece there and I mean if you wanted to you could totally run a drawstring through too and drawstring it rather than using um, the metal bands for the mouth. Like I said this would be like a change purse or a notions pouch be a great gift for um, the crafty person in your life. You know they can 
pop their stitch markers in there and whatnot and pop that in their um project bag and away they go like i said the tutorial is going to be just straight knitting there won't be any of this ribbing here um it's great practice for if you wanted to knit a sock and you want to get used to using your nine inch circulars it's the exact same circulars as i do for my sock pattern is how i made this so great practice great knitting practice and if you want to do the ribbing you know so that you can practice purling you're more than welcome to do the ribbing if you want to rib all the way through you could rib all the way through however you want to do however you want to practice and how you want it to look that is completely up to you um those options will be explained in the video and uh you can go from there well like i said uh there will be a little clip added to the end of this for what i made my niece for her birthday and i think that's about all i've got going on right now that i can remember oh take that back i am going to be one of the elves um for uh, liz crochet and more has come up with this an awesome idea for a little um holiday party being hosted by five of us and it'll be um at my house at ray from ray's yarn addiction liz crochet and more bailey nutcher cat cat on the bailey your name is too long bailey's going to be on there <laughs> and spring the fiber enthusiast which i will link all those lovely ladies in the below down in the description box below so that you can go check them out make sure you're subscribed so that when we have the lives you can attend everybody's party because some of the um some of us not us because i haven't done it yet but some you know do the subscriber only lives just to kind of limit the amount of trolls that come in so please make sure that you're subscribed to these lovely ladies there's going to be giveaways lives at everybody's house lots and lots of fun when i have more of the details in here i'll let you know so that you can plan to stop on by and have a little holiday party with us fun elves you know we do make up make all of our christmas you know and all of our gifts that definitely makes us elves so come on and party with us elves and we're going to have a lot of fun. Until next time, I will see you then. Bye for now. So real quick from in the car here because I uh, was in my jammies last night by the time I finished up and didn't take the time to show you. I want to show you real quick before I gave it to her. This is what I made my niece for her birthday. Little backpack style bag. Two of those straps in the back. And I gave her a little button flap up front. And then inside, made her a cute little octopus. But not only does it have this one, but it's got this one. Little pink guy. Little red one. And we've got orange. And blue. yellow and green and if you were counting those out that's eight little baby octopi one for each color of mommy's legs hopefully she will absolutely adore them and I'll talk to you back in the craft room <laughs>